but tuta mkwambia Chris challenge yangu na jota nikienda huko siko na wazazi wangu my parents are christians they saw my dad anaimba kwa kwaya mamangu wako kwa woman's guild so nilikuwa bado conflicted nasema hii story itawafikiaje sasa wenye niliambwa mimi ndio running mate na ikatangazwa mamangu alionea hapo akaniambia tip mule mtu wa bangi you know already the conversation was moving mtu wa bangi mm -hmm. so i was very conflicted in fact nilifika point nikambia babangu i think we made a mistake just sasa home ilikuwa sasa wazazi wangu walikuwa na nguri sana na hiyo story you know african parents na bangi my parents na marafiki wake walikuwa many of them walikuwa na nikolo na niambia tu unajua watu tutu wamepotelea kwa pombe na mihadarati why are you encouraging this thing mimi na respect kenyan sana and their vote ilisema atutaki bangi that is why only 61000 voted for this thing no mm -hmm. maybe in the kenyan's mind walisema it was not a priority so I, I, I resonate to the feeling of Kenyans and in fact it's very unfortunate kama hiyo ndio ilifanya hata crime and ju it is very very unfortunate even on my part right now unajua you do things and then you get feedback Chris hata yes you need change feedback kwa show yako feedback yako inakufundisha i can do this better i can do lighting differently mm. so me looking at it differently i don't think Kenyans felt legalization was a priority mm. and that is why those who voted were not the majority so i, I wasn't I didn't take it like kindly considering I'm also a champion of women need to be financially independent to avoid you doing things exchanging your body for something so that is, I've always been a champion for that so when someone says they gave me a car and they gave me a house to the common mwananchi how do they think about me so I was not happy about it what was the toughest sasa now for you as an individual live alone the people having to block my mom and my dad Ah. Yes, I had to block them off. In fact, they were block for my own sanity. History of legalization of mari marijuana. Is it something that you can support again? Hey guys, welcome back kwenye Chris Baraka and family. Thank you so much Maze for the love that you've been showing. The subscribers, all the comments, the likes, we are very grateful. Come on, take time. Maze you may watch any of our episode umeshare kama kawaida we are very grateful na kama pia huja subscribe and you you've just been watching the videos ama it's your first time on this channel tafadhali consider subscribing kwa sababu kama kawaida we bring you amazing life transformational shows ama ama content karibu thanks thanks chris umeni chocha mbaya mesh but this is this is the first time uh -huh. tuko na mheshimiwa on set wow eh. so i'm humbled mi wana nika content creators who avoid politicians mm. but mi nazata ku encourage mm. politics and economy wambatana so mm. you need more politicians ndo waelewe mbaka economy mm. waelewe challenges ndo wasukumie bills in a mix sense mm. Mm. so i'm very humbled to be here wow i think i think pia your your story is amazing first of all being a woman in politics in an african land mm. <laughs> ikwaje Eh hey, ni, ni tough eh it's mm. very tough in fact nilikuja kuona after election there was a report ilitolewa that women walikuwa na face gender based violence nyumbani after ku lose elections na mabwana wenye wali lose walikuwa na mabibi wengine so that goes to show amani yako na options but mm. hana so inakuwa challenging ni challenging sana in african context mm. but for me naweza shukuru because my spouse amekuwa very supportive my dm manager wangu hawali kwa supportive sister in law wangu ni neighbor wangu alikuwa na support sana so naweza mm. sema hiyo system ilinisaidia mm. sana so has it been your dream ama how has it been sasa wewe for you as justina ulijipataje hapo mimi nikiwa mdogo mp wetu alikuwa Raila Molo Odinga sasa ki campaign na ndp yotinga alikuwa mm. na na lori alafu watu wanamfuata mm. so nikiwa mtu hii nilikuwa namfuata hapo ndio naweza sema moto ya siasa ilianza kibera. kibera sasa mm. sasa kifanya campaign 97 tunafuata tu wenye tu kufuata campaign gari ya campaign nikaanza kupata excitement same time ndio mama ngilu alikuwa na ile masani ya ngilu mm. na mpya alikuwa beth mugo dagoreti so walikuwa na campaign hiyo boda boda estates hapo kwetu so nikaanza kupata excitement ya politics though with time nikaona politics imeza kwa chafu nikaingia shule kukosa job eh hey, nikaona pana we are losing employment kwa sababu 
politicians are not making bills that is na make sense ama zinaangalia mtu mwenye youth ametoka shule ama youth atafanya kitu ndio nikaingia sasa kwa siasa hiyo ilikuwa 2017 ulianzia tu kibera ah nilianzia mavoko hiyo time tu tw- tw- seven kibera kulikuwa na post election mm-hmm. so we had to move kwa kujas yokimao and ili ni affect sana jota za ziwangu school fees kulipa fee biashara ile ime, ime, ime kwa looted so much challenges na ndo niko na yeye politics ya sambaya maisha mbaya venye tu nyawa alikuwa anasema mm. so nikaji nikaingia kwa siasa hiyo time mavoko MP 2017 sikupata but ni lesson kubwa sana mm. kutoka the late kalembedile siasa hakuna mama ya mtu hakuna <laughs> yeah. life is uh, in politics you have to be tough na hiyo ni, ni lesson ili push nayo ahead hiyo time kalembe unajua tulienda jubili kwa mbwa sasa nani atapatiwa ticket Kalembe akani confuse alimsalimi hivi mtu akapiga picha kwa hiyo logo ya jubilee mm. si akasema nime nimemstep ya down mm. so in politics lazima kuwe very alert na hiyo ni lesson nilinipeleka mpaka sasa hii sasa ndio sasa ka help ku create Justina yes so, so this was before you met your spouse yes that was, and i met him actually during politics mean kiss mama mp mavoko alikuwa na simama mca mudhoni ward iko part of mavoko mm. Sasa tulikuwa tunasema taka tulianguka kiti mm. tulijenga boma. So ilikuwa ni MC na nani? Na MP. But yeye alikuwa na dog mimi kwa na kitu. Yeye alikuwa MP au alikuwa MC? Yeye alikuwa MC, mimi nilikuwa MP. But yeye ndo alikuwa na pesa. Mimi ai mimi siko na hili. Siko na hili. And then now you created a family. Yes. And we have a three year old girl. Mm. Uh, very very joyful. Mm. Janari nataka ende shule sasa. Mm. Mm. Oh you and your first born. Yes. Ah, amazing. So ukakuja from Mavoko ulikuwa uli, ilifikaje sasa ukaingia kwa the roots party? Eh, ni sema miu miu penda ku make networks na friendship. 2017 during training za uh, leaders youth leaders nili meeting one of my friends, a very good friend alikuwa roots party your time. Akaniambia, "Eh, tumetoa advert." Akaniambia, "Umesimama mali this time?" Nikamwambia, "Mimi this time sikuwa na motivation." Akanambia hey, please hiyo opportunity naona hizi kupita ya nini tutatafuta running meet. Mm. Saka nitumie hiyo advert nikamwambia acha nitauliza habi. Sasa hiyo hiyo time alikuwa ananijua 2017 si kwa niombe mtu ruhusa isipokuwa mzazi. Mm. So when I asked my habi akasema why not? So tukaenda interview na my habi na ndio tukaambiwa after tukapata like nine people kulikuwa na watu nine hapo walikuwa nataka hiyo position. Tukafanywa interview na tukaenda home. Kesho yake ndio tukamba tulikuwa successful. So hivyo ndio nilingia roots party. For me as a really quite professional you know an advert was put down and I went. Will you know any info about the roots party before? I had only seen the party leader kwa social media kisema watu watakuwa nakula bangi na nikakuwa na interest na uliza habi wangu ai hey, hii bangi yeah may kwa maju akaniambia eti kuna places zingine ina work kuna hiyo economics benefit yake so hiyo time ndo nilikuwa na interest ya kisema kula bangi mimi my mind ilikuwa na sema ati na, na the other na the other options you know commercial use you know the first time nilikuwa nimemona party leader talking about wajakoya yes also ulikuwa umefanya research kidogo <coughs> kumona tu social media unajua yeye yeah. yeye trend mm. alafu unajua alikuwa anapenda ngazile ma comedy comedy so mm. any, any comedy lazima ungemwona hapo mm. akisema watu watakula bangi mm. Mm. Oh. so siku ya audition zikafika interview na tukaenda na tulifanywa ili kwa thara interview na in fact walikuwa wamesema nili notice mtu alikuwa amekuja hapo interview kama alikuwa married alikuwa amekuja na spouse wake na they think the it was a requirement it was a requirement if you said you're married mm. one unajua as a woman unazenda politics but your spouse amekata so kukisema kuko na trip kwenda Kisumu mzee akatai unaona unaangusha chama mm. so i think that was the rationale behind it na pia number two in terms of votes mm. eh, kwa boma moja kutatoka at least two votes so i think hiyo ndio dynamics ah. mm. so so even the the your spouse was being interviewed Yes he was interviewed kujua maoni yake whether he was okay with me being in politics mm. na akasema since we always we even met in politics mm. ako sawa So how many candidates were you? Nine we were nine of us when you alikuwa nataka kwa running mate So finally wewe ukapewa Mimi nikapata nikawa How was it for you? Simu uh, lipigiwa ni sherehe ilifanywa how was it now that day so go and be we nilipigiwa simu uh, but to tell me chris challenge yangu unajota nikienda huko sikuwa na mbaza wangu my parents are christians 
they saw my dad anaimba kwa kwaya mamangu wako kwa woman's guild so nilikuwa bado conflicted nasema hii story itawafikiaje sasa wenye niliambwa mimi ndio running mate na ikatangazwa mamangu alionea hapo akaniambia ti mule mtu wa bangi you know already the conversation was moving mtu wa bangi mm. so i was very conflicted in fact nilifika point nikambia babu wangu i think we made a mistake just sasa home ilikuwa sawa wazazi wangu walikuwa na nguri sana na hiyo story you know african parents na bangi my parents na marafiki wake walikuwa many of them walikuwa na nikolo na niambia ti unajua watoto wamepotelea kwa pombe na mihadarati why are you encouraging this thing and for sure nilikuwa na jaribu kwa show hapana tusemi vutwe but the sale kwa maana ile watu watakuwa nakula bangi mm. so ili ni force <coughs> Hiyo tema tasikusherekea sana juu nilikuwa na naye ama tuli make mistake but hiyo ndio ile nifos nyingi sasa serious research because backlash ya family members wangu ilikuwa kubwa sana a lot of it na ndio nyingi ya research nikaona besides hii ya ku consume kuna commercial aspect so hiyo inaweza sema hiyo push yao ama backlash ili nisaidia sana hata during the debate nilikuwa najua Kenya nasema ku convince wasia tuseme watu wavute bangi mm. Mm. so you are in support 100% Yes at the time yes but I was not focusing on co- on consumption it was commercialization mm. of marijuana mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> So obviously the famous question Nimona so many people I don't know kama umulizo in any other interview mm. but in the comment section Nimona different comments na watu wanataka ngakujua have you ever smoked weed Actually I've never smoked weed mm. sijawahi kabisa Why when again I was growing up in Kibera those who know your stage naitwa Karanja Road kulikuwa na majama wanakula veve wanavuta bangi so my mom would pass hapo tukipita naye na sasa tena hapa pananuka bangi so from I was a small child already nilikuwa na jua bangi si kitu mzuri unaona mm. na ndio maana nilisema we are here to destigmatize ama i'm here to destigmatize marijuana kwa hivyo sijawahi vuta but hiyo ya kuvutwa na ya commercial they are two different Mm. in terms of species. Kwa hivyo mimi nilikuwa napiga ni hata ya commercial hii ya ku consume sikuwa na encourage sana juu. Kuna mtu anakuambia ana mtoto wangu venye amebadilika. Nyinyi ndio mnataka hii bangi, unaona? In mm. fact I even met an MP a sitting MP. Sasa hizi amekuwa CS kwa interview fulani akaniambia ti imagine unakosea because ukisema ati watu wavute bangi ilikuwa immediately after the beat. Unaona nikajaribu kumwambia Muhesh wewe unaweza andika watu wangapi? Because that was the question I asked. Her akaniambia ti besides the point how will kenyans know the different species mm. unaona so nikaona for sure hiyo kitu ina affect many families the same way alcohol in affect families so tunge stick nile line ya commercialization ile yenye haina ulevi then i think we'll have done well but again the results zilikuja during election 61969 votes wa kenya walisema either number one legalization is not a priority ama number two wanataka kuvuta bangi yao kama wamejificha So the mm. verdict was out. <laughs> so you inside the roots party how was your experience? Oh well I can say it was a it was a good experience but what else political parties in Kenya imagine we have 90 registered political parties and we are less than 60 years old. Mm. Look angalia US over 200 years old democrats 200 years conservative 200 and something years old that's a party mm. uk the same they have parties that are, have outlived you know zime kwa long na longevity kenya tuko 60 years old but we have 90 parties meaning mm. we have a tendency ya kubeba part, political party kama ni your own you know gari nyumba yako boma mm. yako this is my own so maybe mtu atai kusikia an opinion that is different peer structures Kenyans pia wajaona the importance of political parties. Mimi ujiuliza kitambo nikiwa mdogo. Kwa hiyo tu stage ya Karanja Road I used to see a Kanu office then. Mm. Bora sikuzia tonangi. Na hiyo Kanu office ilikuwa hapo mpaka na flag nini? Ajogo hapo. What happened? Hiyo mm. hiyo hiyo nini ya politics ama hiyo kitu ya political parties I think iliisha. So if the structures are strengthened, watu watakuwa na na different views za politics. So for me how political parties are driven in Kenya kama a property ya individual ndio inaribu maneno. Mm. Mm. So in other words this one was driven like an, indi- an individual property. It's on record because aliwai sema mm. that Ananga Secretariat it's on record on TV national television alisema his Ananga Secretariat kila kitu iko kwa kichwa yake hata akienda ku launch manifesto hata ataenda aseme kitu iko kwa akili yake. Mm. So that is enough evidence for Kenyans to know Speaking about the manifesto there's a statement you made mm. 
ukasema at you are very surprised yes. ukisikia ile story ya fisi mm. and i alafu mimi i i was actually thinking to myself that that shows a lot of disunity because you guys were supposed to be united how come inakuwa surprise to you uh, what i can say ni ati manifesto ikiorganizwa remember chris I, i had no official position in that in that party i was just a running meet so i, I was an only only remember which happened nilipochukuliwa kwa running meet so sikuwa na a lot of say in fact many running meets walikuwa na lipwa salary let me tell you the truth if you have no official position in the party then you're supposed you're entitled to a salary but as we spent my own money na husband wangu atuko tunalipwa salary i just volunteered for the course because nilikuwa na ina make sense So at that time when the manifesto launch was being organized I I was not even in privy to any information. Mi yangu niliambiwa just write down your own speech. Sasa na yeye nikaambiwa na yeye ataandika yake. So I didn't know what the content of his speech. That is when Liposke hiyo haena parts. I was surprised because mimi nilidha ni will be discussing the normal. That mm. is why I was surprised. If you are the leader onge make onge make decisions gani? Minge ninge ninge respect uh, views za watu wote ninge involve watu in decision making process because remember at that time ndio kulikuwa bado na rumor tumelipiwa KICC many people are asking me mumelipiwa i have no information but internally rumors zilikuwa yes tulikuwa tumelipiwa anani na azimio kates yo vu mutahingunyi are you getting now the direction mm. the rumors i don't know whether it was true but internally that was the conversation so If I was if I was the leader that time vision yetu ilikuwa this direction singe involved na other people tungesukuma sera zetu that is where ningekuwa na stand let me see doing differently mm. i would have a stand mm. Mm. so you are in this part yama you are in this space but it's like woko kwa giza tu yes alafu pia unaona generational gap age yetu tulikuwa very different Yeah, age yake ni ile ya parents wetu you know our parents you don't tell them anything so for me nilipoingia hapo I, i okay in the beginning it was okay it was rosy we did so much for the party me and my husband tutaongea mingi but towards the end when sasa azimio ilikuja and those rumor money ilitolewa jamaa amekula do nini nini so hapo naweza sema nilikuwa kwa giza so hata mtu angeniuliza kuna pesa nilikuwa nasema according to internal rumors mtaingunyi amepeana pesa ya azimio na ondo alilipa wapi KCC so you are saying wajakoya roots party ilikuwa project ya azimio no from mm. the beginning ama in the beginning kulikuwa na some genuine you know kulikuwa we, we were serious about it but i think kuna vitu zinatangwa external factors external factors ilikuja pesa ya azimio that is number one. so ikiwa external factor i think ili cloud decision making ya chama ama nikae kenya nani alisema the party was kidnapped nani alisema nani alisema but was nikiki. the party kidnapped naweza sema mm. you know in politics how you mm. weaken your opponent angalia ni nini your opponent ana need sana entice mm. them with what they need so maybe in this case money was what was seen like ni gap mm. kwa hivyo kama, kama kidnapping ilifanyika na ransom ikalipwa mm then it was it is in the public domain so you guys used to go from county to county different places to different places preaching about weed if you are the number one thing mm. do you have regrets no i don't have any regret mm. all i regret is uh, of course the fallout and i say maybe many kenyans wana niambia just ina ungenyenyekea this man made you but me always take them back to the bible People are going to be other men. Mean me ambao submit to your husband. Mm. So my only regret was the fallout, mm. but ilitokana na yeye kutofuata our agreement. Mm. The business I do, Chris, ni most of the time either mm. ninapatanga job kivyangu ama broker ananitia job. Broker kama kunitia job, an expect kati yake. Me have always been straightforward. Hakuna mtu anaweza inua mkono asme mimi mnyanganya kitu. So when when anything I do, I'm very straightforward. If we agree that this is the direction. Chris you told me ni kuja hapa tu. I was mm. here at 140. Yeah, so me I strive jina yangu ikue tuli agree just in haja ni fail. Unaona? Mm. So never say endo ali fail because our agreement hakufuata. Mm. Alikubali external factors zingilie na chama ikaenda vinyelienda. Mm. 
so you as a person you don't have any regrets because sababu the message was preached so much especially me nongele about story of weed because that and there was a clip that was going around ya pastor flani mm. you saw him ule alikuwa amekasirika sana akisema ametuke amekaa you saw him yes you unaweza mjua jina sikumbuki but na kumkalia na clip ilikuwa ule wa the controversial one nimemuona huyu hakuwa controversial huyu huyu controversial is a bit elderly nini amevaa suit vizuri nini you saw that yeye aliambia cs ni mchawi Ah, ah. Uh, there is kuna huyu mpaka akakas the whole party akakas watu kwa hiyo party okay i remember but sikumbuki jina yake mm. no but you saw that yes, clip yes i saw the clip Kwanza, how was the reaction for you how you, when you saw that clip the first time for me i was not shocked mm. of course this is africa mm. that some things have been uh, you know made to look their bad from the word go mm. i've also been in that position unaona mm. but mimi nikakumbuka kwa bible we diko so nikasema hata kama anatukas ikitu ni god ali 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 create so i i never felt anything that ninakosea watu mm. and that is why chris ukiangalia all my interviews ama mali nimeiongea mm. si kuwai amplify consumption mimi nilifocus sana na commercialization jo nilikuwa naangalia hata huyo pasta si lazima mtoto wake akue pasta si lazima mtoto wake you know afanye what the, the father is doing track maybe I'm in a campus I'm a graduate hakuna employment opportunities so for me the direction was how can we create em- employment opportunities for Kenyans so me nilisema ni sawa everyone has a right to give their opinion and what they think from the streets there are rumors am it is said unaona sasa the preaching of weed 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 it lead now to more consumption of weed si tukapata new government that came in all of a sudden the, one of the first things yenye tulipata tukisikia security insecurity ilikuwa so much mm. so someone was saying that insecurity itself leave it alone there's something that in a brain mm-hmm. okay. so one of the key thing they were saying is drug drug abuse Marijuana. na ika come back ika come back wapi kwa stories are weird because ukiangalia the crimes that have been happening the, some of them have been very terrible mpaka unashanga huyu mse anatumia ndio unapata mtu amekuibia but it's not enough na amekustab anakustab sasa ya nini si mm. na kila kitu aende so you understand what i'm saying mm. so inaka there was something that is motivating. pushing people and motivating yeah. them mm. so on the streets people are saying that this is the gospel that was preached na imekuwa brought kwa unajua obviously the youth will take it because mm. they are the future so wherever we feed them as leaders you and they can at, 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 it will take what's your, what's your what's your comment on on that in fact uh, the insecurity was unfortunate again the youth ndio alikuwa to driver za insecurity and it's true uh, drug abuse is a motivator means that what you put bangi unasikia uko you know you have more energy to do stuff so it's they, are, they, they have a right to feel that way mm. because remember The messaging was too different. For me I was fighting on consumption. But Kenyans walishikanga ile ya kwanza even before I entered the party watu watakula watakuwa nakula bangi. So No if, but see from apart from consumption you guys you had said mnaweza legalize you had you are yes. you are to make it legal. Mm-hmm. Once it's legal it wasn't legal just for consumption. Yaani for commercial use. Even for consumption it was legal. If, Ama, if you remember Chris Nelson. No but it was legal for both. No, it was legal for commercialization <laughs> na nikapeana uh, example ya species. If you listen to me carefully during the debate. So you guys were going to legalize it just for, for you know the species that we were you know that two species. And then sasa mna ban for consumption. Of course tunge control, tunge ka regulation. Mm. Ndio kuna nilizo bado during the debate. How are you going to regulate? Nika yeah, I remember mkiongea about military base nini. Ni, ni, no, no. I remember. Hiyo yote ilikuwa part of monitoring, unaona? Mm. And as it is now, hata hiyo nakada the nakada bill watu bado wanaipanda na iko illegal are you getting mm. so sisi tulikuwa nasema at least sisi tutaweza tutajua who is doing what tungeweza mm. kumonitor mm. but mimi na respect Kenyan sana and their vote ilisema atutaki bangi that is why only 61000 voted for this thing now mm. maybe in the Kenyans mind walisema it was not a priority so I, i i resonate to the feeling of Kenyans and in fact it's very unfortunate kama yondo ilifanya hata crime and ju- it is very very unfortunate even on my part right now unajua you do things and then you get feedback chris hata yes you need feedback kwa show yako mm. feedback yako inakufundisha i can do this better i can do lighting differently mm. so me looking at it differently i don't think kenyans felt legalization was a priority 
mm. and that is why those who voted were not the majority mm. so they have a right to even quick majority of your followers were, of your followers what the youth the youth exactly yes. wow <laughs> like I'm holding up. I'm holding <laughs> up. Una jua Chris, eh? Yeah. Even you, I know you own up to something, mistakes. Yes. Kama yu ndo impact yenye ilileta, then... Wa unawana kama yu ndo changia? One thing I can say, wale watoto walikuwa na shikwa na yu crime, mm. walikuwa na patikana na rose of bangi. Mm. So, uh, Mrs. Zitli, in my hands, they say, my, I, I won't be blamed mm. because I was part of that ticket. Mm. But again, on another, to keep it issue, the agenda was for commercial use. Now, commercial ni textile. Mm. Mafuta ya kujipaka, you know, food. Hei kukwa ya kukonsume na kusmoke kama drugs. Mm. Yeah. yeah, but you've said that you're owning up to it. I'm owning up to it. Mm. I coupled with the reason why crime was there. Mm. Poverty. To mm. be honest, Chris, mtu wataona hii light na kuna mali ya mambo atalipo pesa mze, mingi. Mm. If all the youth were engaged, unawana? So mm. drugs and poverty, tunasema ni trigger. Mm. Mm. So mini me own up the drug aspect, but mm. pia government should own up on the poverty, on the rise of poverty, mm. high cost of living, unemployment, you know, and they should come up with policies that are, you know, solutions to these challenges. Mm. Mm. Jumutu wa kiiba anasema nini? Mi kwa angu lazima kunuke kitungu. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So finally, if we can and then now you decided to to leave the party. Yes. What happened? Uh, Neza Sema, of course, there was the conflict. Uh, I felt uh, the party was no longer serving my purpose. <coughs> the purpose was to be a running mate, election Elisha. And William Ruto was declared the president. So I could not any another election cycle. I'm my role in the election cycle. That is why I left. Number two, being called a project. Like I said, I'm, I'm a very straightforward person. I'm not perfect, but what you see is what you get. So nili feel mala nejifiche chini a project amanini, then this is not the place like I should be because the goals were shifted from the word go. So I left because one election Elisha, two, I wasn't wanted. Oh, so those were the two main reasons. Yeah, election Elisha. And number mm. two, sikuwa natakikana. I mean, you saw I was told that I was given a house and a car. For me, I felt disrespected. I'm a woman of high repute where I am. I'm married. In fact, even my neighbors were saying, if they need your neighbors to give evidence that you've not moved, we are here. So I, I wasn't. I didn't take it like kindly. Considering I'm also a champion of women need to be financially independent to avoid you doing things, exchanging your body for something. So that is, I've always been a champion for that. So when someone says they gave me a car and they gave me a house, to the common Mwanainchi, how do they think about me? So I was not happy about it. Mm. And then speaking about Pia that, they are, it is also said that presidential candidates, there's a large sum of, um, I, I think kuna dokibao you guys get, like sasa kila mtu upigania. At mm. least hata kama ushinde ama ukose kushinda it doesn't matter. Mm. But uko somewhere there. Uh, there. there is no money we get, Chris. Unaona? Mm. One, once you cleared the constitution in a small pay security. So I had two bodyguards. Even if they are paid a salary, sitakula lunch wa kose kukula. Unaona already hiyo ni budget yangu. Mm. Then I was also given security. You are given two bodyguards two by Two bodyguards by the the government. The government. Yes. And then also I'm also given so um, even once you're a presidential candidate, candidate already you make sure ABC, you know, mm. Sasa is in the benefits. Is in the benefits. Twende. I love two bodyguards. <laughs> two bodyguards. Yeah. Since you lunch now, sikuna. So you're Prezi has two, you, you have two. Yes. Who else? Just those, that's the presidential candidate, the ticket. Okay. And then kwa nyumba yangu, I also had uh, other ones who are manning the premises. Unona, au walikuwa kwangu walikuwa na kujana shifts of badlisha na morning na evening so sita kula how many are they ama just one me had one one okay. but other people i had they had three three mm. but that explains it because when you are given i hear our party leader took most of them so many deletaftiwa wengine what mm. i hear so uh wangu wa asubuhi na jioni sita kunywa chai akose kukunywa hakuna yeah, budget ni mnyapewa na serikali in fact mm. it's very overwhelming you can mm. talk to other presidential candidates they can tell you it is costly. Do, it's Africa. You can't eat and someone is watching you. Yeah, so my budget will shoot in terms of consumption, food, kila kitu, and also see our nyenenda now. It's very costly. There is no money we are given. Mm. In fact, I want to thank the president, William Ruto. Amesema, ametuma an executive order bunge. He's saying that to encourage women in politics, 
from the political parties fund there should be some money women are given to encourage them to get into politics so i don't know that it will be realized but akunanga pesa mtu kupewa there is no money you spend you, you are the one who spend for you you spend your own money or people who are supporting you mm. and remember for me it was different chris many times and maybe you might even look for Martha and she'll tell you or even ruth mm. the people fund the presidential candidate so the, they expect that the presidential candidate will give you money you are as the running mate I don't know the others can tell you, but for me, I saw like the party leader was the one who was getting a lot of funding. But me, not unless the people who know me, my friends, up at Chini Nini, on the Lukonans, come here three K, Mafuta Nini. But the larger amount of money in Indiana for presidential candidate. Mm. That is one as Kenya Zimio Pia Kulikwa na rango zia pesa. Akunanga pesa. Hey, so mheshi mheshi, like ni kidogo kuna kitu. And that is when I took a Kenyan. Me, you own owners on Aji story. Kenyans waache kuangalia politics of money. Kenyans wanze kuangalia ideology. If many politicians mtu u invest, msia na yake 5 million kuna ni MCA, unaona? But there is no free money. Hata wewe uambiwe wekelea 5 million, you want returns. Mm. So if we change politics of money, I think we we'll have quality leadership. Msia na kuja na idea yake anasema nitafanya hivi, nitafanya hivi. Na si ile MC wanaenda asma nitajenga barabara Chris. Mm. Unaona sasa wamepiga governor wa Meru. Mm. Ju, they want world development fund kujenga ile barabara wali promise. Na ye governor anasema aje. Hakuna world development fund in law. Hapo ndio saa conflict inaingia. So they should be speaking they you should be giving an idea that is realistic no na understand your role. Mm. Mm. Ya yeah, kwa sababu unajua immediately after elections and then the winner was declared we saw your leader I can not know how much he spends here 12 million as a public image jazia nikisema doi likaenda hiyo direction sisi ameja jazia sisi sasa sisi si we are just eh, we are just reading in between the lines cause elections they are done all of a sudden to mona ah your leader may come na Mercedes Benz a new one 12 million hiyo ni kumaanisha tu kwa hivyo imeni imeni validate presidential candidates no fundiwa mostly mm. so the expectation is that the presidential candidate at a fund at a, at a support running me twake but now between you guys there was a lot of disunity oh, of course because um, you know external factors eg money mm. but i believe it was a bit harder for you as a lady na kusimama na story kama za bangi nini mimi naweza sema napenda challenges so niliona hii hii ndio isikuma mpaka wapi mm. opportunity ime come nimeenda interview na siku hand pickiwa kulikuwa na interview mm. and it is here so nilikuwa na cha kujipush nione ndafika wapi na history mm. and i'm happy mali nilifika mm. Mm. so saizi the so saizi the last time mliongea na wajakoe ilikuwa leo hey mazeni kitambo <laughs> sio basi alisema ate nilimblock mara sijui nini yeah, I remember Nick those stories. Nick Tambo. So you could block Nikki Twiko? Yeah, and you're in block. That's not a in Russia. Blame. Kwani mli, issue ili kwa ni nini sana? <laughs> yeah. Issue ili kwa, ni mm. political parties in Kenya are in like someone's property. It's a statement you made. It's what I said. The truth was, we didn't mm. have agents. Unaona? Mm. Na pia mm. issues ili azanga tiyo time to make to our agent, to make to our project. Mm. I mean, ni kasema, if push comes to, to show, Nita nitaamua msimamo you know mm. because again I was not on that ticket to be a flower girl Mimi Chris kuna watu walikuwa na wanani wan, look up to me mm. so hapo ndo unaanga women wanadharauliwa wanambo ah you just flower girls so i had a voice mm. na hiyo voice yangu haikukuja ati after ati ati amesema yeye ni wazimio mm. and i'm not saying azimio ni mbaya but supporting azimio was not in the game plan tunge support before ata kuenda ABC that is my argument na yeah, you say three times. So I can remember me last man it because you know mm. I can't keep quiet. Mm. Apo sando conflict ili kujia. Ah. Mm. So basically, it was just about the comments that you made on different interviews. It was about giving my my stand and my side of the story. I'm not a flower girl. That one I've never been. Mm. 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 Did you have frequent meetings? Within not the really, party. not really, none. In fact, the, most of the conversations were on phone. Yeah. 
That is what I'm saying. ORPP should strengthen <laughs> political parties. Mm. Strengthening the, the in a way that one angalembaka structures. But I, I think role of ORPP goes after Iksha register. So you manage your political party. I, I, let me not blame ORPP. But the moment you run as a mati, ana secretariat, kila kitu kwa kichwa yake. But that explains it. Mm. Mm. Ash. But let me ask you. What can you do as a Girl, move on. Why are you asking me these questions? What am I supposed to say? Move on. But do you think it's important to have this conversation? Which one? Like the past. Mm. No, the past always creates the future. So it's important. Very important. I love you. I think for for you, it's best to what we live. What happened, where you are, and where you're going. But you see where you're coming from is very important. Okay. Yeah, I think it is important. We could move on. Obviously, I believe we are moving on right now. Kabisa. See, there is a campaign you have. Yes. It's called Inatuhusu. Mm. Why I'm saying Inatuhusu, I want, from the elections, we saw 8 million voters did not vote. Mm. And that means President William Ruto Alipata 7.2 million, Rela Molodinga 6.8 million. Therefore, the majority are the ones who did not vote. So the campaign is in Atuhusu, get yourselves in, involved. Stop looking at politics or leadership like Aujali Nayo. Eh, Chris, unaweza kukilipo pesa zako kwa YouTube. But government involvement, ni let YouTube on the ground. Maybe oh, katikati watu katikati wanaweza And mm. you earn more, you see. Mm. So you have to involve yourself in politics. Tell leaders what you want, what is happening out there. Ujuroja leaders awajui vitu sana. All they know is policy. But unaweza wambia, hey, kuna idea fulani kai. So even you content creators, I'm happy when you let up as a politician. Many times when you're risking your brand. But you're not. Unafanya what politics is part of your civic duty. So I want Kenyans, ata ule youth, mwenye nona, ah, mini kona, you know, me, my life is okay. But in the next 20 years, mtu yuwako amalize shule, ana job. Ama kama wako ana job, ile salo analipwa, ni only fair. So we want employment and quality employment. We want opportunities and quality opportunities. So in the next 20 years, involve yourself, be futuristic. Sika say you are Kenya and I'm in Qatar. So kitoka Kenya wache inchi yako alafu. So get yourself involved, juina kuhusu. Yeah, because I think one of the reasons what we attack you get involved. Mtu anonata akienda vote at the end of the day see the, uh, I, I think the leader is decided somewhere else I don't know maybe vote yake account but you know the moment wa Kenya wana shinda wakisema hivyo mimi nasema jitokezeni mvote hata kama wanafikiri wana ibakura waogope mm, mm. wajue eh wasemwe wali kama ni wengi unajua the more ukifanya kitu au ataona eh wasemwe walikuwa wengi but the fewer you are they can control you they can manipulate mm. you but mkitokeleza nyi wote at least kwa kuvote wase wengi wameenda mevote it make sense but the most important thing Mimi naweza sema Chris wewe hata really wewe kula do ya politics. Mm. Lakini hasa ukula ndio decide watu wa boda wa mama wako kwa area. Wewe juu kwa job yako ukosa ku vote utadecidiwa na mse mwenye alishakula do. Na yeye anavote according to Kenya leaders. Mm. So wewe titokeze umesikia ideologies umesikia mm. ma strategy and of vote. Mm. At least 20 years from now mtu wako hata kwambia hey dad what are you doing? Hiyo mm. swali itakuwa ngumu. Ya yeah, true. Mm. There is a lady, mm. ajulikana kama Shalin Ruto. Mm. <laughs> Have you umecheki mambo yake? Nimecheki. Anasema alikuwa anauza smokey sijui nini. What's your take on that? Eh kitu nina mimi hata kumwamini because we all have a story na it's good to believe story ya mtu. Considering amesoma amesoma ya Kenyan system akwenda UK. Then me watu kuzo wangu alikuwa daysta aliniambia ni kule au zindaysta also. Ati mm. pia ati ni kule alikuwa anauza masmoki. So hiyo ilikuwa verification enough. Maybe Kenyans are saying, oh, why is she pushing it, baba yake? Mara they are saying, if the father said about dynasty, the father is grooming another dynasty. But me kitu niza mwambia, you say akona limelight, akona resources, mm. a focus on mental health. Leo kuna ile challenge ya magazine wa home na mm. ule driver. Mm. Kuna so many issues zinafanyika. Mimi naona hiyo mm. hiyo ni venye imepatiwa kipaumbele. But on the grassroots so much gender based violence is happening. I respect kwa ni mwanaume anapigwa ma ni bibi anapigwa. Because she has a limelight, me I would suggest a program for her. I know she has her own programs, but a push mental health. At least wase wache ku feel uko depressed you are unakatuka hao. Watu wakaweza kuwa conversation, at least your health yetu itae 
itaenda mbele at least we'll have we'll be able to do things without fearing of that you're going to be judged so as a very good ambassador of mental health mm. Mm. and the first daughter office ali semani private is not funded from taxes who am i to judge mm. Mm. first son last oh. born official last born official last born hiyo yote sasa ni pesa ya wananchi unajua wamesema hakuna pesa ya serikali inatumika mm. but mimi naweza kuambia wajue tu pia kuna priorities mingi sana mm. eh, food security mm. climate change unemployment in fact hata ile pesa waliboro mimi would suggest waangalie venye wata revive industries mm. the employment iko created so mm. in as much as wana fund these offices wafanye kitu pia iko na policy value ya policy we mm. create employment na kulwa cost of living mm. Mm. And according to his our government taking us forward ama iko into so many other different things. I remember someone was saying where is their manifesto? Kwani ilipotea? Mm. Because what they were saying then mm. wameenda wa kichange goal post. But mimi ndawapati example ya US. Election cycle ya US ni four years. But every two years wako na mid term. And where is it put every two years? Because it two years ya kwanza unawapatia time wafanye vitu waji karange. So mimi ndo nasema tuwapatie time. Two years. Yeah. Eh, mid <laughs> terms au anga two years. Yeah. Alafu hapo ndo unaweza kuona my elections na come kuna watu wamelose viti kuna mm. unaona. Mm. So mimi na suggest tunyamaze tuone but I want a choice they have to perform 8 million Kenyans did not vote for you the government so you have no choice you have to convince them mm. that you're doing the right thing. Mm. Mm. Wow. So after such a tough time in mwaka hiyo time election period hiyo pressure yote so easy at least najua you are out of that how is now life ah uh, i'm back to ile biashara yangu but of course nimerudi nikiwa different people see me differently but kama sahi all women in kenya wako na something in common Mm. Ule anavanga kucha amengoa kama mimi. Sasa hii ndio house guys. House managers wameenda. Eh, so sasa hii eh. nimebaki ni home nikibond na mtu hii. Because a lot happened nilipata amekuwa mrefu mm. anaongea. So sasa hii ni bonding session. Mm. But January nafikiria. Na kuja hapo unifundishe hii story yako ya content. Yeah. Gava imesema kuna opportunity. Mm. So I want to tap into that opportunity. Uh, mm-hmm. and are you affiliated to any political party currently no actually i'm partyless i, I resigned mm-hmm. na later nilipoa i am partyless for now let me see how it goes mm. Mm. so right now you're partyless but i'll have a voice i have a very big mm. voice yes speaking about content ulikuwa nini in mind ah uh, topical issues issues in affect wa kenya issues uh, on mimi naona mimi angalia obama sana Obama kuna kitu ana push. Mm. Ana push kitu leto inclusive capitalism. Mm. Ujue maju hata pa Kenya mm. the rich rarely pay taxes. Mm. Kuna hiyo ta, wana exemptiwa tax exemption. But hata wako employed, you know basic sale watu wanakatwa taxes mingi. So ana push anasema inclusiveness ni hata ule sonko alipe ka tax na pia huyu asiumizwe hata wenye ko informal. So in mind nataka policies the, the, the latest bitu latest zinafanyika in politics mm. typical issues uh-huh. best practices you know direction na focus nayo because mister kwa comedy is good but i'm not really funny but najua idea yangu ya policy and the latest and policy intervention and best practices it makes sense mm. Mm. that sounds interesting mm. so balancing parenting na politics you need a support system mm. Me wa wa madam if you're not married it is your own decision wazazi wako maybe nawaambia wajue what you're doing but if you're married it is a family vision hakuna haja utoke kwenda campaign kesho unatoka umepigwa you know black eye umepiga na home as long as una peace utaweza ku concentrate so have a family have your support system kuna wasa na kusaidia hata kwenda shopping kama uko around you know but family your support is very important mm. Mm. and the relationship with your parents cuz starting with say my ilikuwa noma actually say ndo imerudi ime after election mm. now we are say tukupoa ule mama alisikia umetoka ah, de- after debate eh. all my family members only fry in fact they were watching juni niliwaambia tu mimi sitawa convince them on phone mkae watch debate and that is why i had to attend the debate despite the fact let me also add this the party leader ni mengale in hindsight what really brought the conflict was number one the azimio thing but number two 
I think he felt I disobeyed him. He had told me not to go for the debate. But mine was, I had to clarify my name, kwa watu wetu, and women at large. Christians are kwambia social media yangu feedback, men were positive. But many women, aki nilikuwa natukanwa sana na women, wananembetia, you're a mother na unaencourage bangi. So, when I met the chairman of your committee ya debate, haka nembea, wana analyze 20 million Kenyans will be watching. So, this is an opportunity to set your record straight. So me, siku mu disrespect ama kukata kuenda, siku, disi kuenda tiku muonesha madharao. But I also had to clear my name. So in hindsight, me unanga, those are the things. Maybe I don't know, seem skizzy. But again, the opportunity mm. was there. You know, siku hei enda debate yake ya presidential. Mm. Me nili enda ya, ya running it. Mm. Na nili enda po kuklear my name because nili kwa nimekosa na na family yangu. Let me tell you another interesting thing. Kuna kuzangu wa likuwa promise support. Mm. Kana mea imi nda kutumia 20k nini ya fuel. So, your time ni kama, hey, mazeni aji. Nenuna kuzove nyo ndazwa mbe suli ni promise. Alina mbeti, no, my faith has refused. Faith yake ili mkataza kuntumia do. Mm. So, for me, ili kwa a lot of stress. Na, but I'm so happy after debate. No, but debate, see, ati, see, you are just pure in support of the party's structure and everything. But they understood that yeah. iku kuanga, ya yeah. kuvuta. Oh, when you yani, understand the different species. Yeah. At least, ili nisaidia sana. Na hile si kwenye uluambi, sasa umetoka. Eh, wali fry. Mm. Nyingine wakanyambia, <laughs> wakanyambia ti tuseme tu kweli, ulikuwa mm. unaishiaje huko? You know, mm. wali I think kulikuwa na hiyo mismatch. Mm. Kulikuwa na hiyo mismatch, but they were happy. Mm. Mm. Cuz there a moment of feel kidogo this might not. Yaani ni kama you made a, a niseme quick ama niseme tu mistake kutoka na ku join from the start. Ile time ungapatiwa second chance. Ungefanya any differently? Unajua in life, mm. ukena unogopa kufanya kitu, mm. that is the right thing. When you feel unajitosa kwa, you know, the deep end, that mm. is the right time to do it. So of course nilikuwa nogopa, mbona nilikamu, juri di mother, my dad, what we eat, mm. wamejamu. But nikasema apana, you guys, you'll see the bigger picture. Mm. Bigger picture ilikuwa, at least nilioneka na me political side, nilioneka na skills angu. Na bethe wa Kenya ushinda kinyuliza, itabidi ni wajibu hapa. Ati saa uli sema, Ruto wa mishinda mbona ja kupatia job. Ruto anapatia loyalist wake job kwanza. You know, this is mm. politics, this is Africa. Ata wea kuna ankole yako wame kusaidi umepata job. Junior ankole yako. Mm. So, watu wache kushinda kinebe, oh, mbona ukupata job. No. For me, nilikuwa satisfied. At least, ili agenda nilikuwa na push from 2017. Nimetoka sasa MP, nimefuka mali. So, me, I'm satisfied mm. kuna mali niko. Mm. Mm. There's growth. Uh, for me, naona growth. History and legalization of marijuana. Is it something that you can support again? No, in hindsight, Kenyans already gave feedback. One, it is not a priority. Number two, they want to enjoy their marijuana chini amaji. That is a fact. So, mimi feedback ya Kenya. There are, so, there are other things we can do, you know, avocado, castor oil. There are other plants at a dates, northeastern, they grow so well in dry areas. So, I, I wouldn't do marijuana again. Ili nipatia so much turmoil in my life. Mm. So... Um, Ulikos hata usingizi at some, at some point. Yes. What was the toughest? Sasa now for you as an individual. Leave alone the people. Having to block my mom and my dad. Ah. Yes, I had to block them off. In fact, nilikuwa block for my own sanity. Yutulikuwa, by the way, for sure tulikuwa tunakuwa sana. And mm. I even used to tell my cousins, your auntie is saying at you, what, you know, African parents, oh, what one on aje. So I used to tell my mom, before I block her, now you won't be telling me what people are saying. Let me block you, tell them I blocked you. If anyone has a problem, they call me. Instead, when you tell me, I'm going pressure. In fact, my mom will pressure me. Enjoy your story too. My mom will tell me, I'm going to go and I'm going to so, it didn't so much time in my life, mm. but me, I feel it is something I got to do. The decision did not, I didn't make the decision, the decision made me mm. at that time. Mm. Amazing. So, plans for coming election? Me, it's too early, mm. but watch this space. Watch mm. this space, I'll be quasin too. But, vision yangu nasema, every Kenya na Julie. In the next 20 years, mm. mtu wako amalize shule, ana job, ama pate job, see quality, ama see quality opportunities. Mm. Wota mwambi ulifanya nini? Mm. Yondo call to action yangu kwa 
Kenyans. Jua takama kuna msiana mtu isa hii. In the 20 years atakuwa na mtu hii. Na mm. what is the vision anatakia mtu hii wake. Mm. Mm. And the West has been pushing sana agenda ya LGBTQ. Like marijuana, I think it's not a priority. Mm. Yes. No, but the West has been pushing stories of LGBT. So you understand that? Yes, but nasema, it's not a priority. Oh. Oh, they shouldn't push. <laughs> and that is why I'm mm. going to say Kenya is a good thing. You know, Kenyans are now saying, oh, we are facing the West. To me, China and the East, China and the like, now in the US and the others. So why should they force their, you mm. know, their beliefs on us? Sit on mm. our own way of believing. Mm. So it's not a priority again, a government priority to conduct climate change, food insecurity. In fact, we have fund this, or we want to change the thousand dams to get on at least, but was it to force beliefs out on us? So it's not mm. a priority. Speaking about funding, hustlers fund. Ni chukue ama ni chukue. Mi ya chacha ni semo kweli. Una just zero di shiwa message. Mi zero ya message. Nili apla ile start mm. to five mm. yeah, is Jay pata anything? Mm. Jay pata feedback. Yeah. Uh, but my happy year li pata 1500. Ali withdraw. Or ali kwa monga, okay, ah, out the millions ah, that were taking. Ali chukua. Yeah, yeah, yeah li pata. But Miss Jay pata feedback. Woo, oh, uli try? Sija try bado, but after the interview, don't I? Ebu, tuwa <laughs> mimi, <laughs> mimi iyo tu, iyo tu, tu mm. wazangu wa Jay Isha. Do you think it's a, it's a, it's a plus? I think it's a plus for someone doing something. Let me give you an example. Kuna mama mboga mwenye, yu amkasubui, anachukua mshwari ya 3K ama 2K. Anaenda marigiti, analeta mboga. In the evening, analipa yu pesa. So if you're already doing something, if you're already selling eggs, unana at least unajua 500, mm. yufanya na yu hivi, na nwanga smokies hivi. Mm. But mtu mwenye kwa home na janza, it shouldn't be seed capital. Hii nafaa kukua ya kuboost. Mm. That is mindi onona hivyo. Juhu sasa nini ni kichukua sotano for example, lakuna kituna do. Nena ni beunga, ni tukule yo sikuna mtu iwangu. But is it sustainable? It's not. So it is for people who are already, already doing something. Kani mse wa miwa, unajua una baingi miwa ngapi? Na 500. Mm. Na utauza aje, na urudishe yo do. So it is for people who are doing something. Mm, Tia te kuchukua na kukula. Of course, even the watu inge wamefanya. So in a manisha, saizi in the world, it's very hard for one to prosper without loans. It's hard. And in fact, loans are not bad. They are mm. not bad as long as you're doing what you're required to do with the loans. In fact, at Amiyo, wangeni uliza hustler fund, another opinion. Sili kwa 50B. Mm. Alikuwa 500, amilikuwa 50B. 50. Somewhere up. Um. Iliyo 50 billion, wangepea na tw half, 25 billion kwa banks. Mm. Dule mse mwenyeleza chukua loan ya, you know, 10 million mm. Mm. na akona assets achukue a benefit alafu ingine ipatiwe the other generate the other people ule mwenye anachukua on phone ndio at least kutakuwa ume spread risk yako unajua kuna ule mwenye alichukua sotano akadishi utamfanyia mm. nini in fact mm. kuna kitu niliona wa Kenya wanasema ati ah tuwe tu just kill us because ile <laughs> ajio watu watafungwa sijui nini wa Kenya wanasema wakufe so mimi wangeniuliza wange spread mm. risk yao jo pia wao wanaweza chukua 10 mil na utalipa hiyo do pesa yao ame recoup mm. mm. So maybe on the structure a bit different. Kidogo. Different, yeah. Because I think say what I lose pesa, especially wa Kenya wenye oh, you know your friends who niyamia, ah, mini yako na line kumi, yiko na fuliza silipi, yiko na tala. Lakini pia unachoma. Oh, unachoma. Sena sema, oh, unachoma. Oh, unachoma. <laughs> 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 reality, reality yiko. Yo, parting shot. Uh, what I can tell Kenyans, mm. life is hard. But you're tougher and you're harder than life. Let's continue pushing. For you who, who is at home, you have a dream, you have a vision. Don't be afraid of what people will say. Just do you. Be unapologetically you. Mm. Mm. And to the ladies aspiring to be politicians, I'm going to take great leadership stance. Come on. Uh, number one, as a woman, you're not allowed to, to be a joker. Niliona wasema mengilia sana awinja nini nini And akina Terence wa doing jokes but awinja lingiliwa So that goes to show you that Kenyan Kenyans judge women differently So as a woman please be strict Please be, be firm Do what is right By the usikuwe na asked you Oh this one will get you somewhere No don't expect someone to do something for you for free You have to exchange something So do you Do what you feel is right And don't be afraid to go and chase your dreams so guys, thank you so much, Maze, for watching this one. This one has been amazing. If you have not yet subscribed, 
kindly hit that subscribe button like right about now na pia kwenye comment section you can suggest to us guest mgani tumlete next who would you love to see us sit down and to talk about yani na tuongee na so see you on the next one don't forget to like share comment subscribe 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 ama aje eh hey, lazima boom subscribe <laughs> yeah kabisa na channel yako inaitwa ask justina wamai on youtube you have yes, it it's yes. active it's active ask justina, justina wamai tweet tiktok justina wamai facebook uh, justina wamai uh, instagram the same justina wamai na nimeva uh, kutia red kwa video zote kwa uh, profile oh kwa profile uh, so go and check it out maze ask justina wamai na muandike na muandike hapo it's from chris baraka and family kabisa go and show the Mheshimiwa some love. I'll see you. I appreciate sana. Next year umetu promise content non stop. Lazima ita come through. Sawa. Naenda kuja hapa. Eh. See you guys. <laughs>